is waiting for you to reconnect. Nagi says you have to reconnect. There you go. There you go. What's up, everybody? Hey, it's Christine Horn. Man, I'm so excited to be here, y'all. It's been a minute. Last week, I was very much under the weather. I haven't seen you guys. I miss you guys. Um, today, this is an actor success story. I've been starting to do these um, with some of my success stories. I know there's hundreds of you that I've had the privilege of coaching or mentoring in some way, even from long distance. Today, I have Sammy Nagi in, in Ju ah, I messed it up. In Juguna. You say it, buddy. There you go. Say your say your name for me, so I so we can hear it right. So it's Sammy Nagi Njuguna. Njuguna, 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 Njuguna. Hey, it's, it's Kikuyu, which is a Kenyan tribe. Okay. All right, come on, Kenyan tribe. Listen, okay. Let me make sure. Let me make sure. Um, we're gonna hear all. We're gonna hear all about. Um, uh. I'm so used to just calling you Nagi. So forgive me. Yeah. I actually I went to IMDb to check you out and was like trying to see what you were up to. So I just want to come over to Facebook just to make sure my stream is going lot, going good there. And then we're going to dig into this interview. Um, let's see. It looks like it's gone. I'm going to refresh my Facebook page. Yes, we're good. So, hey, if you're watching on Facebook, um, hey, Dawn. So, Nagi, I'm going to give you the comments I see on Facebook because we're actually live on a Crowdcast, which is another platform okay. you guys know that I use. What up? So, so Nagi can't see your comments, but I'm going to, as they come and I'm, as my page refreshes, I'm going to um, give, give them there. Um, so, Real quick, introduce yourself, where you're from, um, what you do. This let's just start there. And and okay. how how do we get connected? I'm always okay. I love asking that question. Okay, yeah, thank you. It's all love. Um, so my name is uh, Sammy Nagi. Um, I'm from uh, Kenya originally. Um, I was born in the States. I went back and forth my whole life. I started acting when I was a teenager, and uh currently I'm uh, based in Columbia, South Carolina, um, okay. which has been kind of interesting to find an agent from Columbia because there's a lot of, you know, people think that you have to be in Atlanta to get an Atlanta agent or different mm -hmm. things. Um, but I've, I've, I've been here for about three years and I'm an actor and a creator. I'm working on a couple of things, but f right now I'm solely focused on my acting. Okay. And uh, I got connected to you um, I got connected to you about a year ago uh, from a friend of mine named Arisha. Hey, shout Arisha. Out, shout out Arisha, Connor. Arisha Connor. Yes, you know love saying? her. Yeah, she's she has been around. She's one of my OG members. We love she her. Is? Yes. Yo, so one yes. day, one day, like I know her from when I moved back to Columbia a couple years ago doing some theater. You know, I met I met Arisha, and uh, we stayed in contact. And I was just talking to her like, yo, we got to, you know, you know, us that we, you know, that we auditioned self tape, we got to get together and, and, uh, and tape. And she was like, yeah, let's do it. And so we, we would just kind of give each other tips and, you know, just kind of just connect with each other and then, you know, have an outlet where we can just talk about, you know, different things, uh, acting related on camera stuff. Mm -hmm. And I was telling her about my auditions where I didn't know what I needed to do better. She said, yo, I got the perfect video for you to watch. And she sent me a video about it was you was talking about isms. Oh yeah, all the stuff that and for those of you who are new to me or haven't worked with me, it's I believe we we all have what I call isms. That's like stuff we do on camera. Some of us right. is blinking blinking too much, raising our eyebrows, right. using our using our hands to talk too much. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. And I was doing all that. And I've been acting, <laughs> I've been acting on camera for a while. So I was just like, man, what in the world? How did I, how did I not know this? <laughs> and, uh, I told Arisha, I was like, yo, this is amazing. And then I was like, man, this is exactly what I needed. And she was like, you should follow her and check her out. It's my, my coach, Christine. And it was like, I, I thank her to this day for that. So that's how it started like a year ago. Yeah. And then we were talking about the domino effect. And since then, you've brought people to, to the Hollywood bound actors world. Definitely. When I meet people that are don't, they just are like, I don't know what to do, but I want to keep doing it or I want to do it. And I just send them your way here. But I'm I'm grateful. Here. I'm so I'm so, so grateful. <laughs> I'm so grateful for that. Thank you. Um, oh gosh. I was okay. actually so I was about to, you know, there was there was some things going on. Um at that time I was I was about I was about to quit. 
acting because I hadn't booked anything in a lot in a, in almost a year, a year and a half, two year, almost going on two years. I hadn't, but I had booked a couple. I booked a couple commercials, mm-hmm. um, couple commercials for you know some region a regional one and and a local one for North Carolina and Georgia. But you know I didn't. I had about maybe fifty, maybe thirty. 35 auditions or more around there. Wow. Like 30 to 50 that, and I was, I was, you know, I wasn't booking anything. So I was about to quit. So when she sent me your way, your, uh, I really lived off of your daily breads for, for, for a long time. And they helped me out tr- tremendously. I'm grateful for that. Um, I found that, you know, and if you don't know what he's talking about, I have a YouTube channel and I do videos here called Actors Daily Bread. Right now on YouTube, there's at least 160 something videos you can totally. I've watched about, <laughs> I've watched a hundred of them, and there's like that I haven't watched. Like, they are gold. Everybody, like, they are are gold, yo. I'm so, just putting Actors Daily Bread. We're here on Crowdcast, but we are streaming, so um, bear with us. You know, once I get off this live, I will come back and say hi in the comments. But I can't see all the. We're streaming. I have a wonderful app that helps me syndicate. So we're in multiple places right now. Nice. Um, you talked about, and you said something very interesting about you were getting auditions. Like, so you were going out. Yeah, and- I was. Yeah, I was with an agent um, in the southeast, and they were. They were. T- I was taping a good bit. In and- 2016 and 17. And then you weren't seeing the bookings. And I'm curious, you know, the other day, you know, I have um, a monthly membership called the Booking Magnet Academy. And on Monday we were having this uh, call and it turned into more like of the support group because it realized it was men and women going through the same mental things. What is going through your head? I mean, just so other people can feel like they're not alone. When you're going out, you know, this isn't a situation of I have no rep, I no one knows I exist. Like you're going out. What starts to go through your head when the bookings are not coming through? Because you did, at least you had a friend like Arisha who gave you a resource, but what was, what were you, what would you feel like you were struggling with besides finding, oh, I have a few isms? Um, Cause you emailed me through Facebook once when I, we barely knew each other and you were yeah. like, I'm ready to, I'm ready to throw in the towel. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I was just, I didn't know what I needed to do better. I didn't know. I didn't like, what am I not doing? You know? Yeah. Um, I'm thinking I'm getting good tapes and I can look back at those tapes, you know, the quality. In hindsight. <laughs> yeah. The lighting wasn't, wasn't full. The lighting wasn't full. It's so mm-hmm. full lighting is so underrated uh, fact of that casting director's respect. That yeah. you taught me casting director's respect and that wasn't going on. Um, some angle things, just different things that you that you taught, and and it's in all your videos. Just different things that, that you were saying. Um, and I I kind of was I thought I thought I, I started thinking that acting wasn't I wasn't like I wasn't gonna supposed to do it. Oh, God, um, oh, that I, just that one breaks my heart because I hear like, I it, I, it, I have fe- I have felt it right. You like you like maybe I'm not. It's that maybe I'm not cut out for this moment. Yeah, maybe this isn't this isn't what I'm supposed to do. Am I am I good enough to do this? Why? Because after after a year of no booking anything, it's kind of like all right, keep going. But I mean, it just keeps going, and you just get you just you know you start to doubt, and I think that's one of the worst things an actor can do. Is seriously yeah. doubt yourself. Yeah. I want to talk about right now. I'm in the midst of. Hey Nancy, I see you. Hey Dawn, I see you. Um, um, I'm just coming over to Facebook to see if I can see anybody because there's people sending you some love. Um, What's up, Facebook? <laughs> yes. And anyone who's watching, you know, those of you who are catching this live, that's wonderful. To all my replay watchers who will watch this later, what's up, replay watchers? Love you guys. What's happening? So listen, right now we're in the midst of, well, not we, me. I'm in the midst of uh, promoting my agent attraction method. It's a digital course that that I teach. I only, I taught it live um, several months back, right toward the end of 2018. And it was wonderful. We have some Emmy nominees in there. People got agents. You uh, got, took my methods and 
had your own experience with it. Um, just if you're wondering, especially if you're on Facebook, the link to the agent attraction method is in the comments. It's pinned. Uh, it's agentattractionmethod.com in case you can't see it. And it, the doors close on the 30th. I only open it up once a year. As most of you know, I've been streamlining a ton of my coaching. April is the best time. April, May is the best time to reach out for your new dream team. Yes, it is. Why? Because pilot season has died down. The craziness of the Typical pilot season has died down. Of course, things are still mm -hmm. casting. And, you know, this is just the best time. They have time to open mail and read your emails and check that stuff out. And I have a lot of little tips and tricks on how I like to reach out to people. So, Nagi, you went through a shift where you were looking for some new rep. And I know you had made some notes for yourself. I want to hear in your words what you took from the tips that I, that, that I taught you. And you have a funny story, too, because you almost again thought this didn't even work like i'm sitting here like let's what what's happening so tell let's tell everybody that story because since i already know oh it. man i mean the story so the story he's talking about is uh you know to cut to the to cut kind of towards the end i um the agent that i that i was that i reached out to uh that i that i actually um you know i spoke i spoke this specific one that this is the one i wanted and i focused on it Mm -hmm. um, and I said it over and over and over in, and I, vis I visualized it, which is things that you taught, um, yeah. specifically, but this one, they, they find, they reached out to me in January. They didn't sign me till March. That's so a long those time. Two months were, <laughs> you know, so, uh, the final, uh, the final meeting I had with them, they didn't, they didn't let me know for, for a week. And that's to me, You're that's sweating. Like, you're not going to get it after a week. Come on. You know, most of the time you're going to know they're going to hit you up a couple of days later. I, I would think it, common sense, but in acting this industry, you can't, <laughs> nothing, nothing. You don't is... know. You don't know. <laughs> so I, it was, uh, so I met with them Friday. I went all week. I was hoping I'd find out by Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, nothing, Thursday, nothing, Friday, nothing. So I'm like, I didn't get they. they I was this when you sent me the Instagram message? Yeah, it was on the Instagram. <laughs> so it was a week after. Hold on, let me after. pause. Let me pause, y'all. Nagi came up to my DMs talking about. I'm gonna go ahead and head to the liquor store because this clearly didn't work out. <laughs> Yo, I was so depressed. I didn't know who to talk to about it. I'm not laughing at your depression. It's I'm okay. just hey. the insane, but the insanity, I was sad. I the was insanity so sad. of it. Cause you feel I like mean, I did, I did the right things. I got I'm their like, attention, met with them. Yes. Met with them twice. You know what I'm saying? Email back and forth. And then they don't hit you up after the last meeting. You know, what are you going to do? So I went, I took, so I took my butt to the liquor store on Friday. <laughs> I was about to drown my pain in, in a bottle. I'm not, I'm not advocating I that. This, was, I'm not was, advocating it or listen. I'm just it was just so dramatic. For real. I was about to get a bottle of Hennessy that I did have the money for, and I was about to say, listen, I made it this far. Let me just start back at one. It's gonna be okay. Right. We're gonna rinse it, we're gonna rinse and repeat this thing. <laughs> Cause I was ready for it, but I was I was just I was so down, which lets you, you know, it's it's just a testament to how much how much energy and how much of ourselves we put into into this grind. Trying Absolutely. to find agents, trying to book roles, trying to find it on our own, all types of things. And then you get really far just to, you know, I've been through so many letdowns. So I, I was yeah. certain that it was another letdown. And about right uh, right when I came out the liquor store, I checked my phone and I had a missed call from Atlanta, Georgia. And uh, it was, I called it back immediately and it was the agent. And they wow. told me congratulations. It was like, 4 30 on a friday so i i just i thought it would you know and um and they signed me across the board that day and uh, awesome so that bottle turned into a, it turned into a celebration <laughs> that day. we celebrated that is yeah. awesome but that I, just I'm, that's that's how much that's how nerve-wracking you know the process is sometimes it absolutely is and you guys i see you here those of you on crowdcast welcome hey ladios um you know, I'm laughing and like literally, guys, I'm laughing and there's tears out coming out of my eyes because I know all of you watching can relate, you know, on, on our uh, Q&A call that we had in the Bookie Magnet Academy Monday, one of our students said, 
why can't I just, I just want to act like I'm just want to show my, why do I have to do all of this? Like, why can't I just be an actor? But I got to have social media and I got to have this and I got to do this. Then I got to send mailings. And I, and like, I know. And this was the second time I, they rejected me six months prior. Ooh, that's a testimony for some of y'all. Cause some of y'all have given up and that's, and I, this is the stuff I teach in my agent attraction method. Again, if you need help finding your new dream team, agent or manager, please let me help you. Don't just, please. if you're, if your plan is just mail a headshot in a big eight by 10 manila envelope, I'm going to tell you right now, that's not the plan. And if you don't know what else you should be doing to follow up or to stay in touch, you need to check out my course doors close on the 30th. But what I also say is it's no, doesn't mean, always mean no no means not now because you may reach out in august and they have your type they're good on it or they're just busy right now and so yeah you may get that un unfortunate rejection letter but right. i love that you didn't just be like oh well moving on like but you had a focus you visualized your dream team um we lost your connection nagi so when you come back there you go you visualized your dream team and that's a big thing that i talk to you guys a lot about and I use that word attraction, is why I call us booking magnets. The reason I'm, I'm a huge believer in law of attraction, that what we put out comes back to us. We are all energy. We are all magnets. You have to be yeah. so clear on what you want to draw into your life. The people, the experiences, the team. There's some yeah. of y'all out there right now being represented by a team you're scared of, don't like. They don't send you out. They don't believe in you. They don't yes. ever come to anything that you invite and them to. They don't give you feedback. Yes, and I'll I'll say one other thing um, that I didn't tell anybody. Um, you know, so they I said they rejected me six months prior, so they rejected me in like October, mm -hmm. and uh, I had a referral from um, from somebody I I found a job I found a voiceover with, and she booked me on something else, mm -hmm. um, uh, just a little industrial and she works closely with a lot of the agencies so she referred me mm -hmm. and they said they you know she told me she was like nope are they you know she was like i'm so sorry you know it, and it hurt because when you have a referral you you think you know you're good because it, it's so hard to get a referral right and uh so after i got rejected i i, I um contacted two other one three other ones they all said no so i thought let me see about a manager so I, I got with it. So I, I, I reached out to two managers and they, one of them took me on and they wanted me to do some things. They wanted, they were really pressing me to get headshots and do certain things. And I was trying to, I was trying to explain to them I, I'm, I'm on it. They were really aggressive and kind of, they weren't understanding of what I was trying to let them know the manager. And I just got with them in, you know, November, December, right after I got rejected. So they told me that, you know, in January, they were like, Hey, listen, you didn't do what we asked. We're going to, we're going to, take you off our contract until you do what we say. Wow. Um, and I, and I was like, you know, well, just, I'm going to do them, but I'm trying to, I'm, I'm, you're my man. You know, I've, if I've established this managerial management relationship with you, then I'm being completely honest with you. Uh, yeah. I don't, you know, please don't use it against me because I'm being honest and I, I feel trying like trying to communicate. Me, right. Yeah, I feel like you signed me for a reason and they weren't very understanding. So that day we had that, they, that day was in January. I got off the phone. I was so mad. They said, listen, we're going to nullify your contract until you do the things we want. And then they said, you know, I said, can we, can we, uh, you know, I'd love to meet face to face and talk about it. They said, we're not, we're busy this week. And I've been with them for like a month. And I said, what? And I was so mad. So that day I, I, I reached out to like four other agents and one of the agents that contacted me and, and the manager told me that I, I wouldn't be able to get with them without them. That's what they said. <laughs> And you like hold my beer, just yeah, just wait. Uh, God, just, you, yeah, God, you know, like, hold on. like you don't know the guy that you know, yeah, you know so, what, you know, that's why we can't. You have to believe in yourself, number one, number one. Now, again, I want you to know that you're getting some love on Facebook. Oh. Um, you're getting love from one of um, my mentors, Freddie Hendricks. Um, you're getting love from Sheena. You're getting love from Marbra. Yeah. Laura, yes, yes, yeah, I yes. Just wanna, I want to share my story because, you know, now, I, so now I just have an agent and I'm actually going to, uh, I'm actually going to wait until I'm at another, at, at, a, at a little ele more elevated level to get a manager because um, 
I've just learned so much from you and other sources that I feel like it's better to be ready for a manager than to than to rush to get one. Yeah, or, this and and this is for all of you watching too. You know, I joke, I jokingly say this, and if you've been on my, if you don't follow me on Instagram, please do at actress Christine Horn. I mean, all month and for the next week, I just been putting out videos about agents and different things people don't know. And people have been instant uh, DMing me and asking me follow up questions about commission and paying your agent, like things, you know, a lot of you just don't know or didn't realize. And <laughs> and it's just so it's so much that can go on, you know, having a this is a relationship. It's no different than having a boyfriend, girlfriend, husband or wife It's a relationship that needs to be nurtured. And exactly. you should you should not feel fearful <laughs> with your team. You are a team. You pay your representation. I know they make it seem different, but if you don't work, they don't get paid. Not if you're with a legitimate agency <laughs> who's not scamming you. And so I jokingly say, get a manager when you have something to manage. Like when you exactly. when you have a resume worth its salt, or if you if you maybe you're a singer as well as an actor, or you're doing some other things, but. Right. You know, a lot of managers these days do act. They put the hat on as an agent. They act, kind of act like one. But the biggest difference is managers are not technically supposed to negotiate contracts. Um, and so that is why even with my myself, I have a manager. But when I if I book a gig through them, they have to send that contract to my agent to negotiate. And people think that you have to pe some people think that you have to have a man. If you don't have an agent that you um, that you have to get a manager to get you an agent. And the manager I was with told me that you're not going to get with these agents if I don't pitch you. So you yeah. need to do what I say. That's, that's a scare. True. That's a scare tactic. That's not. And true. so, and the person you were with, and some of you may be with someone like this. And again, I'm going to take this back to being just like a relationship. If your boo was like, "You will never make it unless I help you," you ain't. You know what I mean? Like that's negative. Like that's abusive to me. That's verbal abuse. Yes, a manager can get you in the door easier sometimes in you i mean that's very certain but you can take your own steps to reach and, and to reach your own representation i've done it in la new york and atlanta so that's a scare tactic and personally mm -hmm. i don't i don't use fear in my own in my business as a coach and i don't use fear in my own life yeah. i operate from a love standpoint you don't need to put fear in me to right. respect you and you always say that you always say that that you make sure that the people that you trust, your potential manager or agent, that you that you have a a a, a, a real con that you have a good feeling about, that you have that vibe, that yeah. you know that good feeling that, that it you, should feel that's, good. That's hard. To, that's hard to to falsify. You know what I mean? That real. And if it feels off, to to listen to that. You know, right? Because it felt off with the manager. Right. So I'm, I'm trust good, your gut. I listen to it. I'm not. I, you know. And now I win. I don't. You know. There's less hands in my in my in my pocket when I when I get booked. Mm -hmm. And I feel like I can, you know, do that the right way, which is what you say. When I, you know, I got I got a co-star, network co-star, um, a Work couple, on a guest star, NCIS, a yes, film, right, NCIS, ATL Homicide, some feature films I've been supporting, but I don't, I don't, you know, hey, 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 hey. I'm so I'm so proud of you. Hey, hey. I'm so proud of you. Like, you know, I'm ready. I'm ready. I feel like at a certain level, you know, it'll, it, you know, it'll be, it'll be much more beneficial to, um, to jump to there, and that right now I should just focus on the work. Yeah, I, I would totally agree. As, as your distant coach, I would totally agree. Listen, today I've been talking to Sammy Nagi Injugun. Ah. Hold on, hold on. Hold Let on. me practice. Cool Sammy Injuguna. Injug ah. Injuguna. Story of my listen, life. listen, listen, when you go on that stage to get that award, there's going to be somebody in the voiceover booth practicing. Oh, they if they can be. say Cuevan Zanye, they can see Lup Lupita Nyong'o, right? She would tell Edgy for, right? So they don't, don't, I just needed more time. I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I got you. Hey, you're yes. Not you're not alone. And I'll tell you this. Um, I, I reached out to agents via email. Mm -hmm. uh, that's how I sent them my, um, I, I, I mailed two or three, um, but I, I researched, you know, the submission um, ways. And actually, it's funny, a couple web, a couple of the agents' websites, you know, a couple months after I checked, it would say, we don't take emails. And I checked a couple months later, and it says, we're, we're taking emails. So I was yeah. like, oh, that's crazy. If I didn't double check a month or two later, I would have just thought they don't take emails still. 
Right. So, you know, you got to just keep, if you're looking for an agent, you have to constantly research the agencies yeah. that you look at. They all have websites. They all have Facebooks. Yeah. IMDb. Right. You're coming back. You're coming back. We lost yeah. you for a second. And yeah. So that research part that you talk about is so vital because I wouldn't have known that I could email them directly if I didn't, if I wasn't constantly checking up. You know, as we're getting ready to wrap you guys and please, if you're watching the replay on Facebook and Nagi, please do me this favor, maybe later, um, come back through the, the, if you look on my page, Hollywood Bond Actors, I'm sure you'll see some comments. Go ahead and spread some, come back and respond to some of the love that you're getting there where we're yeah. streaming. Um, yeah. But right now, we're, this is all about agents, um, and we're talking about the agent attraction method. And when I talk about that, and Nagi was, uh, Sammy Nagi was very generous to want to share his story of stuff he's learned with me and that he's implemented and got him success. And th there's no difference for you. Um, and I, I say agent attraction because, y'all, we're not desperate. I know this industry can make you feel like you just need to be happy with whatever you can get. But I'm here to tell you, and so is Nagi, that you have to be very in tune to what it is that you need and stand in your worth, stand in your power. Have faith. And, yeah, have, and absolutely have faith. And know that the right door will open. The right door will open. What, what I don't want to be is, you know, I joke about there's some agents, especially in Atlanta, that are so big that they don't need, they really don't need any more people. <laughs> and, and I'm like, really? I'd rather you not sign really? me. I'd rather you say we have too many than you signing me and then I sit and wait and then never get a call. Mm -hmm. It's like being, mm -hmm. for those of you who are singers who get signed to a record label, happens all the time and they sh put you on the, on the shelf because you're like the and competition for another artist. And so they don't do anything with you, but now you're tied up and you can't do anything. Right. So that's right. frustrating. And, and uh, I'll say this, you know, real quick, you know, before I went in for the last meeting, I, I studied your tapes. I can't lie. I studied a lot of your agent um, tapes just to be ready for that meeting. And I was very, um, I spent time focusing on what my essence is. Mm -hmm. What, you know, what am I bringing to the table? What types am I, am I, am I confident in me playing right. on camera? What are you offering to the market? Company. Exactly. And, mm -hmm. and I just focused on my essence and they, when, sure enough in the meeting, that last callback meeting, they asked me, what is your type? What do you think? And I and I knew exactly what to say. And they were and they when I said it, he's calling me. When I so when I who's, said it, they, who's calling they, Nagi? Don't you know Nagi's doing an interview right hey, now? Come on now, that's what I, <laughs> my phone been dry all day. How you want to call? All right. Well, you know, when you're when you're hot, you're hot. When you're in demand, when you, when you do what you want when you pop. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, but they asked me that question and I knew exactly what to, I was just, when, it, when they asked me, I said, here we go. And, right. um, and w when I was done talking, you know, letting them know, they looked at each other and nodded their heads. Awesome. I'm going to ask you one more question. Yeah. I'm asking you one more question before we go. And not even a question. I, I ask everybody who I do this with. And listen, some of you who have been clients of mine out there, be expecting uh, to hear from my team. I want to do more of these interviews because I know there's so many of you around the world uh, who I've been able to connect with and and who and who have been making great strides. And I want to hear your story. So I'm going to be sending some email invites. If you're not on my mailing list, um, get on it just log in for a freebie somewhere so you can get on my list. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's at actress Christine Horn. But I ask everybody this before we wrap, um, because I think it's so important. Um, for any one, any actor who is at home right now watching this, um, it's almost 8 p.m. on the East Coast, who's feeling like throwing in the towel, who, who's questioning their talent, what what piece of advice do you have for them? Um, well, I and I mean people that know me know how much I used to stress about this acting thing. So I would tell people to stop stressing about it first and foremost. You know, stop stressing and uh, you know if, if it's if it's something you love and, and you focus on the on the actual work of this thing, you know, um, getting you know getting becoming a better actor, uh, studying, you know, doing anything you can, whether it be student films, independence, 
whatever, with your friends, with the camera, soon your own web series, get used to the camera and get, get so confident when you're in front of the camera. Everything else will come. Everything else will come. Um, if you follow Christine and, and watch, uh, you know, the wisdom that she gives, all the videos, there's so much gold out there that she's put out. I will tell you to soak it all in. Soak it all in. Um, but first, and you know, above all else, just uh, right now I have auditions coming in um, on a weekly basis. I'm getting I'm getting great auditions, great tapes. I'm very happy. Have not booked anything yet, uh, which is you know, which I'm, I'm ready. I'm ready for as part of the territory. But I went through so much time where it wasn't like this, and I stayed. I just didn't give up. You know, I didn't give up. There were nights where I was, I questioned everything and I'd be so stressed out. Why is this not happening? Nobody was emailing me. Nobody was calling me. Mm -hmm. You know, friends was like, well, you still trying that? You know, my mom, you know, my pops was like, hey. Yeah. Know? And I just, I did not give up. I would, I just, I, you know, I would watch videos, watch anything I could. I just wouldn't give up. And I would just try to soak it, continue to soak it all in. And if I soak this all in, if I keep going, then I'm not going to look at the results. I'm just going to trust that it will come if I do yeah. my part and uh, and work, work, work. And so yeah. that's that's what I did. I um, the way I got my agent was off somebody. I you know the referral came from some. Yeah, I'm almost done. So the referral I came off of somebody, I, I, some work, some uh, somebody I found off. Facebook of just scouring for jobs and mm -hmm. that ended up oh see the devil is a lie the devil is a lie so what <laughs> they don't want me to say what I'm about to say Christine say it now. listen listen you have come to, on you know, we gonna stay your, here till you say it look find your own work I found my own work when I didn't have an agent I found my own work and that that person that I that that I worked with on a project referred me to an agent but if I didn't go out and look for my own work and I was just worried about not having an agent and being, and just why, and what am I supposed right. to do then? And I didn't focus on the work then none of this, I wouldn't have a, I wouldn't have a solid representation right now today. Wow. So focus on the work y'all. If you focus on the work, focus on getting better. I guarantee you it will come. I guarantee yeah. you. Make your own magic. I Make your own magic. You. Follow, Sammy follow, look, Follow Christine's videos and, and, and just take tips, take notes, and it'll come. Whatever you're wishing for in this acting industry, if you do, if you do that, I guarantee you what you want will come. Thank you. Sammy Nagy, I can't say no better. Um, take take notes and then be sure to take action. Implementation Work. is is what will do it. And guys, don't forget to have fun. Listen, this if this industry, if this industry stresses you out so much that it just is like giving you knots in your stomach and you hate it, you may need to go do something else. And, you know, and there's no shame in that. But if there's that burning in your belly, that good excitement, then keep it up. Um, thank you so much for this. I'm going to put links. Once this is done, I'll put links to your IMDb so people can check you out and see the stuff that you've been doing. You're in Columbia, South Carolina, but you work all over your agents in Atlanta. And I think you even, you even coach people to take people. I, I don't know if I'm, you know, a little something. Mm -hmm, yeah, so if, you, if you're in that I, I area, try to, I try to, you know, if you're in Columbia, <laughs> you know, he may need to be somebody you reach out to. Yeah. Um, but yep. thank you so much for spending time with me today and sharing your story and reaching out and being a giver and passing the information on as I know you have Absolutely. as it was as it was passed on to you. Absolutely. All right, everybody. Have an amazing night. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'll see you, I'll see you guys at work and I'll see y'all at the top. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bye.